All right, well, here we are again. I'm gonna call this take three because we're still having issues with this furnace and it's kind of hit and miss, it's in and out. Um, I did use a multimeter and I did confirm that the power that runs into our gas valve is 24, 25 volts. So that's actually really good and that tells me that we don't have any problems with power uh, as far as you know making the uh, switch on the gas valve so um, I, everything that that I'm led to believe and from some other people uh, who've helped me um, you know I'm thinking that the problem is with the valve and it has a sticky switch in it so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this valve and to do this um, I'm not an expert at, at gas so I decided to call in somebody who's certified to do the work and they're going to be here uh, just a little bit and so I'm going to go ahead and try to record that so that way again you know we can all benefit from this and that's the goal so we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully we'll get this thing switched out and we won't really know if that's the answer or not until time goes on and, and we'll find out if uh, you know if we fail to get to get heat down the road. I mean, this thing's so hit and miss. I mean, it may run fine for a couple of days and then go out, so we'll see.
test valve in. Hopefully this is the answer to our problems. Um, it was nice to be able to record the folks while they were uh, switching this out. And I intentionally didn't want to stop them uh, throughout the process and ask a lot of questions. Um, you know, they were here, this is their time, I'm paying for their time. But it was nice to be able to capture it on video because they didn't really care. And so uh, hopefully we can use this as reference. Now this doesn't make us, you know, an expert in this field, but it helps us. You know, it helps us to, if we have to change out a gas valve, like how did someone else do it, you know? And um, if I had to do it again, I don't know that I would tackle it myself. I mean, I, I might, I'm a pretty handy person, but if I did, I think I'd want someone else to kind of double check my work just to be sure it's safe, right? After all, you're dealing with gas. And if you have other people in the household, it's always good to know that things are squared away. So hopefully this video will help you out. And um, I have a feeling I'll use it myself as a reference down the road. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post a comment. And I'll do my best to answer. And if I don't answer, uh, chances are there'll be someone else watching this who might have an answer. So post away. Have a great day.